What do we have over here? Bugaboo! Is that you? Oh my goodness, look at him! Bugaboo! Bugaboo, what are you doing over here? Oh. Hi! Oh, will you pet its Betty? Pet the Betty! Dad, pet the Betty! I think it's saying something about a sawmill. I can't oh, quite tell. Yeah. Bugaboo, are you <laughs> playing among the wood miser parts? Oh, yeah. This stuff, I drove all the way to Home Depot at like 8.50 at night to get this stuff because last time I didn't buy enough rope. I thought 500 feet would be enough. So I think we got 500 more feet. Hopefully that should do the trick. If you don't recall, last video was a little rough for us. Not only do we have an entirely long day taking the cisterns out, removing all the rock and then re-bedding with sand, we thought we'd end the day by threading the two inch poly through our encasement only to find out it was gonna be one heck of a time. Yeah, so Jesse came up with a new strategy that we're gonna test today and we're gonna see if we can get this done before dinner. I think we're kind of <laughs> improvising, but we'll tell them that as we go. Yep. A little bit of improvisation. So Jesse's gonna go to the top of the hill and I'm gonna stay at the bottom. This is gonna take some serious teamwork, but we're gonna demonstrate a pretty doggone efficient way to get pipe through encasement in theory. or conduit wiring etc so stay tuned if this doesn't go well Alyssa will have to do a lot of editing post editing <laughs> however we did just pick up some raw milk from the milkman and our ice cream maker is at home and we have ice so whether this goes good or bad I think we're gonna have a pretty good evening this one isn't planning on going anywhere till dad fires up the four-wheeler boogaboo Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Testing one, two. Bugaboo. Can you hear me? <laughs> Bugaboo. He you totally. <laughs> Ten, four. <laughs> hey. Oh, gosh. Where are you going? <laughs> Hey, has anyone seen the stairs to our hot tub deck? All right, so where we left up here, the upper portion of the double encasement, I think we stopped because it was just too darn difficult. And so it's gonna take me a little bit to do some rope moving around and to pull the two inch out. Um, I think at this point, we should be able to pull the three quarter all the way to the bottom of the hill down where the hydrant's gonna be. So we'll work on that uh, too, okay? Some brand new shiny gloves. Where we left this is a bit of a rat's nest and that's kind of why we stopped. Just, we were exhausted and it just wasn't gonna happen. So you can see pretty clearly that these two pipes take up the majority of this double encasement, which we hadn't really planned on. Um, and in all fairness, I don't know what the out, outside dimension is on this pipe and this pipe. I believe the three quarter is actually the internal dimension, which means the overall dimension is probably closer to one inch. And this is probably closer to two and a half or two and three eighths. And that's only four inch encasement. So the improvisation we spoke of earlier is we realized that the two inch drain line really is only critical for the potable system because of fire, which we know we can reliably keep that system full. It's not the, the rain catchment on the other hand is kind of be, you know, full and empty, full and empty, whatever the rain provides. So while it's not ideal, um, we're going to actually thread the two inch through the second encasement um, because it's going to be much easier to do that. And it's gonna have its own encasement. At that point, we'll make a judgment call about whether it's worth the effort to try to go back and put two inch in the same encasement that has the three quarter fill line. This is improvisation. So right now this is more of an, um, a test to see how hard it is to get the two inch through the encasement overall. We came to the conclusion that trying to thread both the two inch and the three quarter at the same time is very difficult, or it was the day we tried it. We've had a little bit of rest and it's much cooler today, so that's why we kind of felt like we'd try it today. I've got a bit of undoing that I need to do here. I've got to get this two inch removed and we've got some rope that I need to move around. 
and then we actually threaded on an extra couple links of encasement that we were attempting to move down and hook in to make our life a little bit easier. And I think we just flat out gave up. It was just too difficult that day. All this rock that you see sitting in here gives you an idea about how unstable this trench is and why I'm so anxious to get this stuff buried. We just, we just put all this sand in here a week ago and it's rained a couple times and now we've got rock in the bottom of the trench again. So we really got to get this stuff closed up to keep from creating more work for ourselves. Gosh, it's just so hard to make these decisions. Like, as I'm standing here today, it doesn't seem like it'd be that difficult to push this two inch through with this three quarter. Ugh, I'm really tempted to give it a try. We put a lot of work into getting this far, so there's a part of me that's tempted to, to give her hell and see if we can make it happen. Um, I'm gonna kind of thread this on do a little bit more testing with trying to get that other encasement slid on and see where that gets us. So we're doing this so that as we pull the pipe through, we are subsequently leaving a rope in the trench, or excuse me, in the encasement. So this rope will be pulling the pipe through and this rope will stay in the encasement so that forbid we ever have to do anything to it, we've got a rope in there already. The hardest part is going to be getting the two inch down to where these two pipes that we added earlier, they actually connect into the existing encasing. That's gonna be the hardest part um, because I need to add lubricant as we go until I can get to where I can connect these pipes. Then I can kind of stand back out of that deep hole and I can add lubricant, etc. And it's possible that with the rope and with me pushing between the two of us, we may be able to pull this through. We're going to be using this uh, pipe, pipe dope or joint lubricant or whatever you want to call it. Um, typically this is used on gasketed pipe. Let's get the camera down here so you can see it. And it's just, it's kind of a gooey lube. And we're going to lube uh, both the three quarter, well actually we're only going to lube the two inch because the three quarter is pretty much all the way through already. And hopefully um, it will help to reduce the friction on the pipe as it gets through. The first few feet won't be too bad, but this is uh, I think 180 or 200 feet of pipe. so. This is going to be hopefully the difference between getting this through here and not. Biggest problem I have right now is that this encasement wants to butt up against that stupid rock. So what I'm trying to do is get that extra two pieces of encasement attached over here. That'll help me to bend this encasement around here and hopefully I can do all my work from back there instead of clear up here in this collapsing portion of the trench. All right, we're going to try to go maybe around 10 feet or so, and then I'm going to have to re-lubricate the pipe. So just pull the rope for now, and I'm going to try to push the three-quarter and the two-inch through. So you should be seeing the three-quarter here pretty soon also. Okay, I think I'm ready. Go ahead and... I'm doing that right now and it feels like it's stuck. Progress. Okay, I'm gonna try to push the two inch toward you, so you need to get tension on the rope. This is not about either one of us doing 100%. It's about working together. 
Not sure what's going on, but I just realized that I forgot to lube all the pipe. So I guess, I don't know if we're just too far apart and can't communicate or what. I guess I don't know what's going on. I'm almost tempted to put us on speakerphone on our phone so we can communicate. Hey. We may have to go in small sections, but um, I guess <clears throat> figuring this out will tell me if we're getting progress or not. So I will put a little bit of lube on and then we'll try to go a couple feet, rinse and repeat. Hey. Okay, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. Whoever invented pipe lube deserves a hug. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, it's definitely too early to tell, but Alyssa down at the bottom pulling hard on the rope and me threading these two through is working right now we've probably gone oh maybe 50 feet and i think we've got about 200 total so it's not fast but we are making progress and i think we owe a lot of the uh, success to using pipe lubricant um, seems like it's getting a little easier as we go too so Here's hoping we get down to the bottom. We've got a 22 and a half degree elbow down there that we're not sure about. We glued it and we're not sure if we're gonna make that corner or not. So we got a long ways to go. Keep at it. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're pretty sure we're at the 22 and a half degree angle, and this last round it didn't do nothing. So stay tuned. Wiggle the rope. Don't just give one steady pull. Kind of pull, pull. Pull, pull, something like that. Okay. One, two, three, pull, 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 ah! pull, 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 pull. Um, we glued the 22s already, right? There's not a lip. <laughs> it's just not flexible enough to go around that corner. We can either wait for a warmer day and, and see if the pipe gets warm enough, or we can cut the encasement and uh, try to force the pipe around. So I think where we're at is let's shut it down for this evening because I think we made massive progress. I think we've gone like 170 feet. Let's not do any more tonight. And then I'd like to try using the come along, but that's going to take me a while to fabricate kind of this pulley system that we can use to pull against and such. So let's maybe tackle that tomorrow. Can't wait for ice cream. What'd you say? <clears throat> What'd you say? I know what's been going on in here. Mm. Somebody didn't wait for the camera. I didn't know I was supposed to wait. Uh -huh. I was gonna do it again and fake it until you said something. Does anybody out there believe Alyssa <laughs> that she didn't know she was supposed to wait? But it's so good. It's so rich. Ooh, I see the little Ready? specks of vanilla bean in there. 
Oh my gosh, that's seriously... Wow. Oh, who gets to lick the paddle thing in the jig? I'll let you lick it. Okay. Ooh. That's because I'll be like, eyebrow deep in my ice cream. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a new day and as usual, Jesse had some really great ideas in his sleep. So we are using a come along and we tied it to the rope, which is tied to the pipe. And so far we're getting some movement, yay! We think we're actually getting the pipe around the 22 degree corner, which is huge news. So we're gonna keep working at that. Let's try that. One, two, three. What's harder with the come along is because it already has tension. When I pull, I can only pull for like a second and then it like kind of pulls, pushes me away from the come along. There we go, yep. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna move up the trench then. I feel like I'm not getting <laughs> the equal amount of ward for the effort that I'm putting in. Yeah, this feels way better up here. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's pretty good. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, let me lube up. One, two, three. That was probably three feet. Yeah, maybe four. Whew. I don't know if you guys can see this, I just discovered it, but we're creating so much friction here that we're actually melting the side of the PVC. <laughs> I don't care who you are, that's an accomplishment. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. I think it'll be funny the day our grandkids are like, oh, grandma, I'll, I'll fix their water system for you. And I'm like, let me tell you about this thing called YouTube. You watch this playlist and then you tell me if you want to fix my water system. No way, guess what just happened and I didn't get it on camera. Dang it. There it is. What's funny is I stuck my eyeball like up the tube <laughs> to see if I saw it. And I saw something, I was like, is that a rock? I'm like, what is that, an animal? And it turns out it was like the fuzzy rope. Yay, so maybe let's try one more time and we'll see if we can get around that corner. If so, we're golden. I don't know. It only has like half an inch to go. One, two, three. Wow, that's tight. One, two, three. No, oh, nothing. Wear your helmet, kids. Right? I do. I'm a little worried. About to get serious up in here. I think we decided getting this around the corner is all we want to get done today. So that would be awesome because we made a ton of ice cream last night and I think we want to go drive around and go visit some of the neighbors. So that would be a much funner activity than doing this in the sun, don't you think? Oh, it's coming! Woohoo! We got it! Come on, baby! I don't know how we're gonna get encasement over that. Does it look like the pipe is pooping? You know, I wasn't going to say it. Kind of looks like it's But it totally good. does. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of have a, a weird question for you. Kind of want to see if I can just pull at the pickup. That's what I was thinking. Just, just gently, and you, I need you to kind of speak up. Okay. Uh, my only major concern is I don't, can't remember where it is up at the top. So I'd say let's just test it. And if I can, um, I might have you go to the top. Yeah, I'd say two pulls. We probably have about 50 feet. Maybe a little bit more, so two pulls will probably do it. Looks like we got about, oh, 30 feet to go. Maybe 40, something like that. Okie doke, I'm ready.
Okay, I'm where I need to reconnect, so give me a minute. There's not gonna be a whole lot of extra on either end, so I'm probably maybe about 10 feet from the bottom here, and I'd like to have just a couple, three feet of extra. So in theory, that pipe should basically be laying in the cistern hole, but not past the cistern. I'm close to being in the trench. Beautiful, that's what I was looking for. So we are done with this part then. I said the boss says we're done today with this task. You're getting this on video, right? I am oh, the yeah. boss? It's settled, Yeah, then. you're the boss. Okay. <laughs> well, sometimes you have to prioritize and I think today it's a good day to be neighborly. Something yep. we're running a little behind on. We're definitely been, lacking in our neighborly. We've been uh, a little obsessed with our own needs. Yeah. So we're gonna take we're some of the ice cream. Well, yeah, we're American. Yeah. We're going to take some of the uh, yummy ice cream that we made and we're going to try to bless other people with it. Yeah, so Sunday is a great day to do that and I think that takes priority over finishing this. But that's a huge milestone. That was probably a week of headaches. Yeah, that's insane. I'm really shocked. I mean, I'm... <laughs> On camera. Ready? Boom! Boom!